Hey, this is the coding teacher and I'm here to teach you how to code and today I'm going to be covering this uh, the second leak code that you can see longest substring without repeating characters um, this is actually a sliding window problem you can see a hint to to that in the problem statements so they, they give you you know you got to find the longest substring without repeating characters within a larger string and the explanation and they tell you the, the answer is ABC in this case right um, ABC it could also be BCA, it's an equal length substring with non-repeating characters, CAB, or the second ABC, or uh, that's about it. Um, so they're hinting right there, you just gotta find the first one, right? And this one is BBB, so there's only one character, the, the, the longest sequence of characters that's non-repeating is B. And um, in this one, you know, you have PW, and then there's a W, so the WKE is the next one. Um, KEW would be another candidate. They tell you that you to go with the first one. So this is going to be a sliding window algorithm, and um, this is a, basically our pseudocode. And I'm going to go through it by an example. And go ahead and B C um, B A A, for example. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna have um, a start pointer that, <clears throat> this is start, and then I'm gonna have an end pointer, uh, end, right? Because that's the, the pointers are gonna define my sliding window, then I'm gonna have my max run length and the character seen. And I'm gonna keep the character seen updated so that they only reflect the characters that are seen in the current run. So here's my loop. I'm going to keep iterating while start and end are both less than the length of whatever string they give me. In this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, less than 6, right? And um, so I'm going to get the current letter. In this case, it's A. And if the letter is not in the character scene, I do something else, I do something else, right? So if the letter is not in the character scene, I'm just extending my current run. So what do I need for that, right? Well, I need to extend the end pointer to here and um, so end is now one max run length is now um, one and character scene says a zero right that's everything that I need in order to extend my current run then I come back to the top of the loop and check again has the letter been seen before has B been seen before nope so update the hash map that I, now that I've seen it max run length is two and end is two same thing and now i update so this guy has been updated to come here so have i seen c before nope so same thing update my hash map to reflect that i have seen it update my max run length and update the end pointer okay and then um so now the end pointer is updated to this right here uh Let's see, three, zero, one, two, three. Yep, doing it correctly. And then what's going to happen now? So now I'm going to go down the different code path because the letter that I'm looking at, B, is in the hash map, right? So this stuff is not going to run. And instead, I'm going to go to the else statement. So uh, what do I need to do in the else statement? I need to find where my run is actually starting now, right? So I basically delete the character scene uh, uh, from this. Uh, this is actually wrong. So uh, let's say char at start that's the one i need to delete so i need to delete a from the character scene because it's not going to be a part of my current run so i delete this guy right here and then i move the pointer to the next one and then come back into the loop again has a has a, is a letter in the list of character scene yes it is so i go ahead and uh delete it and then update my pointer the start to go right here and now as you can see um this is actually reflecting so the start is pointing here and end is pointing here so this is actually reflecting my current run so that's what i need to do basically i need to keep my hash map updated to make sure that i've deleted uh, all the characters that are not in the current run and i need to keep my pointers updated to make sure that they reflect the start and end of the sequence um hope that makes sense and uh we're gonna go ahead and, and implement this now so 
let's say let start equals zero, let end equals zero, let max run length equals zero, and let chars in run equals a hash map, and then while start is less than um, s dot length and end is less than s dot length. Um, and then at the end, let's not forget to return max run length. And then here, again, I have my if statement. If um, this is how I like to check for the existence in a hash map in JavaScript. If, uh, well, let me get the letter first. Letter equal um, s at end. Okay. Type of chars in run letter is undefined. That means that I haven't seen it before. Else, that means that I have seen it before. So if I haven't seen it before, I'm just going to set it, right? Say that it's, I'm just going to set it to the index. Um, I could set it to true or whatever else. I'm just going to set it to end, and um, then I'm going to say end plus plus. Or actually, I, I could do it in one shot. End plus plus, and um, what else did I need to do here? Uh, and update max, max run length. So max run length is is math dot max. Um, and minus start, and the other thing I'm comparing it to is its whole value, max run length. And then else, we're just going to delete char scene and run for s at start. And then increment start. And um, let's see if that'll give us what we want. Yep, that looks good. Let's go ahead and submit and see if it passes. This is actually not the first submission that I make. I've done a bunch of different solutions before. This is the one that I think um, is the best because this is the one that is done with a sliding window. I came up with a different way to do it with a single pointer, but it's more confusing. It has a bunch of branching if statements and uh, it doesn't help you practice the concept of a sliding window. So I think this is the best solution for this problem. Um, this is the coding teacher again with a five minute lead code challenge. I hope that was informative and I'll see you guys next time.